my contractor hubby and me, my parents, a house plan, and a lake lot equals mom's lake house. Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you an update on mom's lake house. A couple months ago I introduced you to a new project that my husband and me and my parents are embarking on. It's a lake house on a small Alberta lake and we are designing and building it ourselves. Last time I showed you the initial walls going up and the view and the kind of the things that we're starting with. Today I want to show you the progress and some of the choices that we have to make. Let me give you a tour. Here is how Mom's Lake House looks right now. This is April 2017 and we've been working on this project since about November 2016. It was extremely muddy when I filmed this so you're going to see the camera really shake as I try to navigate my way across the wood on this mud here. Um, but this is going to be the garage here up front. This lot is extremely narrow, so the home itself had to be extremely narrow. So you do see a lot of garage when you approach the home, but I think my mom designed some really great roof details over top the garage to give the home a really nice lake cottage look. So here's a peek inside the double garage, and I'm trying not to fall on my face here. And here's the initial view as you walk inside the home through the garage door. So we have the stairs on the right, a two-story entrance on the right, and then the living room is going to be on the right there, and the kitchen and dining room here on the left. I'll give you kind of a 360 turnaround here. Here's the garage entry that we walked through. There'll be a little powder room and a pantry there and then a peek into that two-story entry and a small closet between the entry and the living room space. So there's that little guest closet on the right there. And here's a peek at the entry and the stairs. There's gonna be lots of light here because there's going to be a window up top as well as a lot of open space on top there. And this closet did have to be moved a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with where they moved it. You can see two transom windows there in the living room. And now let's go up the stairs to the second story, which has just been put on over the last couple weeks. And now we're working on the roof, which I think is really exciting because you get to see the shape of the house and how it is going to really look when it's finished. So here's a glance at the second story here. There's my hubby working away on the roof. So right where I'm standing is going to be kind of an open library slash study area. And then looking ahead there is going to be the master suite. Right here is going to be a small laundry room. And then over here above the garage are going to be two spare bedrooms. So I think this is where my girls, if they have sleepovers, are gonna stay. There's that two-story entry there. We're still kind of thinking about lights already there. And I just love, love, love this master suite. It is my favorite part of this home so far. I love the view, of course. You look right out onto the lake with those large windows. And I absolutely adore this master bedroom vaulted ceiling detail. Here's a bit of a closer look at the master suite as it is. On the right is the master bedroom with a vaulted ceiling. Here on the left is going to be the master bathroom and the closet will be to the left of that. So as you can see, there's a large window from the master bedroom overlooking the lake and then one in the bathroom overlooking the lake as well. We're starting to think already about treatments on that vaulted ceiling, maybe some 
uh, planking, maybe some shiplap, maybe even some faux beams, just to add that really rustic lake house look. And there's Riley, our dog. She and Tippy, our other dog, have been hanging out with Sean at the construction site. So what we want is kind of a really light, bright like house look. Here's one of my mom's favorite inspiration pictures for the home. I'm just going to share with you this design dilemma and you tell me what you think. So for siding, we have this kind of weather wood gray slash brown shingle that we're going to put on top of the home. So this is definitely decided. But for siding, we're just kind of trying to sort out the colors of the siding and the trim. So here's the color of the shingle right here, the weather wood. And then for siding, choice A would be white trim, which is that top color. We love the look of white trim with the really dark clay above it or below the sand, which is a bit lighter and a warmer of a siding color. That Those both have led a lot of contrast. So the sand below or the white, this one's a little bit lighter than that clay color, which I think this is my favorite choice. And then choice number three would be linen below, really, really light color with the white trim above, so less contrast. Let me know which one you would pick if it was your lake house. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more Mom's Lake House updates, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye.